Corsair booth at PAX 2018. They have a vast range of from keyboards, mice, and headsets, and their cases here. Direct your F so everyone can have a look at and have a feel of it as well. So let's, let's go through all the keyboards, mice, and headsets on this table here. Have a look at their cases, and let's see what Corsair has to offer. So we're here with the Corsair keyboards from the K70, the K95, you got the K68, the Strat, and the K63 wireless. Now we'll start, with, we'll start with the K70 and the K95 series. So you've got the K70 RGB MK2, you've got the K70 RGB MK2 keyboard as well, you've got the low profile MK2 SE and the RGB Platinum. So you can see from here, this is the low profile keys, which is the MK2 low profile. Now they are, with this keyboard here, I can see it's becoming more popular with all the vendors because a lot of the other vendors are doing the exact same thing. Moving forward here, you've got the Strat RGB MK2 and the K68 RGB with the K63 wireless. Now that one there, there's a keyboard, there's a keyboard on that side there, which is more, more of a lap pad. So you can actually be able to have your wireless keyboard sitting on your lap if you're in your theatre room or you just want to move away from your desk, you've got that opportunity to use that keyboard as well. So we're here with the mice that um, Corsair have to offer. We've got the um, Glavia, we've got the Dark, we've got the, this one's the new one that I haven't seen yet, the Harpoon, and then you've got the Scimitar Pro Series as well. Scimitar is more, was more towards your MMO series. This will be more for eSports division. you got your Dark Pro, which is pretty much an all-rounder, and then you've got your Glaive as well, which is more, more towards your, obviously, FPS gaming. These, these mice have actually been fantastic. I actually own this one here, which is the Glaive. The Glaive is my daily driver. I absolutely love it so far. It's lightweight. The dark, first maybe feeling, it's because I've had some highly recommendations about this mice. Should be looking more, toward, more towards that. I can see here the half moving more towards, you know, your um, eSports division, I can see from here. And then you've got your Scimitar, which is obviously MMO, going from World of Warcraft to pretty much any MMO that's, that's available online at the moment. Fantastic price. Hopefully we'll have Corsair soon in the studio. Get a bit more of an in-depth review on these. Let's, go, let's find out. We've got a wide range of uh, peripherals here from headsets to mice to keyboards. Um, we haven't had Logitech at the PC419 studio, but we have been in talks with them so far. But I thought I'd give them a quick coverage here at PAX 2018. So we're up here, we have got all the um, headsets. So I'll look at the G933, absolutely fantastic headset. I've had, had them before, so I can say they're really good. The G533 and the G Pro as well. Now the G Pro are aimed for the um, Pro Gamer Esports headsets, they are a bit smaller and they're more comfy as well. Then on, down below here we've got the G433 which are retail at 169 and then we've got the G633 and the G231. Now going over to the keyboards, the keyboards itself, so the G910 which is pretty much their top end keyboard has here. It has, uh, does come with mechanical switches as well, and they are, I know they are Logitech switches. You have your dock here for your phone, so you can use Logitech software. Then you've got the G6113, and then you've got the G Pro keyboard as well. So you've got the G Pro um, headset, mice, and keyboard here. So this is all, I can see this range here is particularly aimed for just for the eSports. So it's, it's 10 kilos as well. And then down below here, you've got the G5112. G5112, G5, G5, another G512, which I've no idea what the difference is. And then, that's wrong, G5, and sorry, then you got the G402 here as well. Um, now, going over the mice, the G903, I actually own one of these. I use this every day um, as a daily driver for myself. It is wide and wireless mouse, it's actually absolutely fantastic. Then you got the G703, which is another gaming wireless, uh, it's, it's wireless mouse as well, which has 149. And then you got the G Pro which is a wireless professional grade as well for $249. Wow, it's a lot of money for that mouse there. And then you've got the G502, 
which is, um, it's not a wireless mouse, but it goes for $129. It is a comfortable mouse. You get the G Pro Esports Professional Gaming Mouse. It retails for $99 with RGB. Hopefully we have, we'll have Logitech here very soon at the PC49 studio. We have, we have been in talks with them. I can't say much more about it without physically using it myself, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna get to the full detailed specs, but hopefully we'll, the next couple of months we'll have Logitech at the studio.